what are visual effects visual effects is a blanket term referring to any method that makes it possible to create a scene or effect it could not be produced with regular photographic techniques visual effects most commonly refer to 3d computer graphics they are produced for films games and advertising miniature and real world model building are good examples of visual effect techniques they require no digital assistance visual effects is sometimes used with special effects it technically includes sound recording editing techniques this is an addition to visual ones its alternate spellings are vfx fx visual effects generally referred to by the industry as vfx the imagery is manipulated and completely created to complement the imagery generated from a live action shoot vfx entails the integration of live action footage it will help to create characters scenes environments and situations visual effects beginnings physical effects also called practical effects they are performed live using real world elements these include explosions weather effects and stunts one of the phenomena is persistence of vision persistence of vision describes the ability that the human eye has to retain an impression of image after it has disappeared this allows the brain to read a rapid series of images some of the simplest visual effects are slow motion fast motion and time lapse photography scenes filmed at slow speed move than normal fast motion this effect has been used in comedies since the silent era it also makes it possible for car chases and other risky stunts in time lapse photography the camera snaps a photo at set intervals when the footage is projected time is compressed it reduces the growth of a plant to a few seconds of screen time willis o'brien and other special effects artists created an imaginary lost world in the 1933 film king kong techniques developed for this film are still employed by visual effects artists today although now they may be produced in computers when to use visual effects vfx is commonly used for the following situations dangerous a bullet penetrating a character's chest and coming out from his back costly plane crashes are too costly to actually conduct in reality largely science fiction sets are too costly and time consuming to physically build hence vfx is deployed to create 3d sets that the actors behind green screens can be placed in creating things that do not exist on screen text dinosaurs have gone extinct millions of years ago however in jurassic park we see actors interacting with them being chased and attacked by dinosaurs this is made possible only through vfx where 3d dinosaurs have been created then it was integrated with the live action shoot cleanups and makeup many a times pictures queue setting is marked by electric poles and wires it could be as simple as removing pimples or scars it also includes body sculpting to define their muscles and or to reduce their waist to look slimmer currently visual effects is becoming more and more accessible to independent filmmakers it is coupled with the affordable compositing and animation software visual effects cover such things as creating entirely virtual shots changing the background creating the background adding actors characters or creatures changing actors adding objects removing objects obscuring objects specialized speed changes fixing problems on the set adding eye effects removing wig netting etc the visual effects team works closely not only with the director but also with the cinematographer working with the production designer we can expand the sets working with the stunt team we can remove their rigs car ramps wires working with the special effects team we can hide their rigs working with the wardrobe department we can expand the capabilities of their costumes iron man black swan etc why use visual effects it's cheaper than the alternative visual effects don't look as expensive in that context
it offers more precise control. Director may want to change the set later. Visual effects may be the correct option when there is not enough time. It is not possible any other way. Floating spaceships, talking dragons, people flying and shooting lasers are not exactly easy things to obtain. How long would it take and how much money would it require to build the transformers? How long would it take to genetically produce a dragon? Keep in mind, visual effects, models and environments have to be created from the scratch. We can't rent a field to shoot on. We have to build and paint everything from scratch. When we move our characters, we have to make sure their feet touch the ground without going into the ground or floating above it. Many of the things taken for granted in live action has to be worked out in great detail in visual effects. Visual effects allow filmmakers an incredible freedom. Visual effects are used in science fiction and fantasy films. Visual effect films does very well all over the world. Visual effects artists are the only group involved in Hollywood filmmaking that don't have a union. Most are freelance project to project just like other film jobs. Visual effects craftsmen work long hours like other film people. The working time is likely 80 or 90 plus hours a week. Visual effects are outsourced around the world due to film tax incentives just like some of the jobs in Hollywood. Some artists have to uproot their families and move to other countries in an attempt to remain employed. Visual effects artists deserve the same respect as the other departments and the workers in the film industry. Glare Glare can be defined as the contrast lowering effect to stray light in a visual scene. Glare forms a wheel of luminance which reduces the contrast and thus the visibility of a target is decreased. As the sensitivity to glare is amplified as scattering in cornea or lens increases. Intraocular light scatter in normal eyes. Cornea 30%. Lens 70%. Acuous and vitreous lesser than 1%. Types of glare. Glare can be divided into two types. Discomfort glare, disability glare. Discomfort glare refers to the sensation one experiences when the overall illumination is too bright. Example, on a snow field under bright sun. Disability glare refers to reduced visibility of a target due to the presence of a light source elsewhere in the field. It occurs when the light from glare source is scattered by the ocular media. This scattered light forms a wheel of luminance which reduces the contrast and thus the visibility of the target. Contrast Contrast can be defined as the difference between the luminance of the target and the background relative to the average luminance of the scene. Contrast is equal to target illuminance minus background illuminance by target illuminance plus background illuminance usually expressed as percentage or as a fraction. Scattered light rises the luminance of both the target and the background to same extent, thereby reducing the contrast. Causes of glare Discomfort glare, UV ties, ocular albinism, bone rod dystrophy, retinitis pigmentosa. Disability glare, old age, the intraocular scatter of light and glare are fairly constant until about 40 to 45 years of age, after which they increase rapidly. Following are the factors responsible. Lens fluorescence, alloying of lens, senile meiosis, subclinical lens opacities. Cataract. Glare sensitivity is markedly increased in cataract compared to normal eye. Even when adjusted for age, visual acuity and contrast sensitivity, glare is related to the degree of diminution of vision in case of nuclear and optical cataract but not in posterior subcapsular cataract where it is disproportionately higher. Glare increases as the cataract advances. And when 80% of the lens is cataract, use the contrast drops and glare increases dramatically. Posterior chamber IOL Glare sensitivity is higher in eyes with posterior chamber IOL when compared to normal eyes, even when the posterior capsule is absolutely clear. After cataract, posterior capsule opacification increases glare 
which is improved by NDYAG capsulotomy. Keratoconus, corneal edema. Epithelial edema leads to more scattering of light and is more visually debilitating than stromal edema. Radial keratotomy, RK. RK increases glare sensitivity, especially under mesopic condition or when the central optical zone is very small. Vitreous opacities, macular edema, controversial. Measurement of glare, discomfort glare. It can be measured under experimental conditions by having a patient adjust brightness of a light source until it reaches an ill-defined threshold of unpleasantness. However, it does not seem to have any clinical relevance or applicability. Measurement of glare, a conventional visual function test. Usually, acuity or contrast sensitivity is administered in the presence of a glare source. Following tests are available. miller nadler glare Tester, Apple Gates, Icon V, Control Light Test, Brightness Acuity Test, BAT. A simple method which the author uses is to first record the visual acuity of patient using Snellen's chart and then repeating the same while shining a bright light of an ophthalmoscope or a touch on patient's eye. A drop of visual acuity of two lines or more denotes significant degree of glare. Clinical Utility To measure visual disability in mild cataract, especially decreased vision outdoor in bright sun, visual disability with nighttime driving. Glare recovery time. Factors and diseases affecting light and dark adaptation will affect glare recovery. This is used to predict predisposition of a patient to retinopathy. To conclude, glare is an important factor in visual disability with anterior segment disease. The sensitivity tests are useful in evaluating the visual problems of a patient with early cataract. Glare recovery time is useful in predicting the possibility of development of retinopathy in diabetics. Simple clinical tests for measurement of glare sensitivity. It would be ideal if practitioners could measure the equivalent wheeling glare spread function within their practice with some instrument. There are methods for measuring the severity of cataracts. For example, the LOCS2 method 8. But this method essentially uses backscattered lights. The practitioner can also observe ocular media turbidity with the slit lamp. But this instrument also makes use of backscattered lights. The equivalent wheeling luminous is forward scattered light. Are these two amounts of scattered light correlated? Can the amount of backscatter be used to predict forward scatter? Scattering is usually very complex and only ill well-defined situations are they correlated, such as single practice Rayleigh scatter. Faden. The definition of a faden is the gradual appearance of picture or sound in movies, television and radio. An example of a faden is a movie shot that starts as a black screen but eventually shows an image. An example of a faden in a song quietly played in the background, which eventually becomes louder. In audio engineering, a fade is a gradual increase or decrease in the level of an audio signal. The term can also be used for film cinematography or theater lighting in much the same way. A recorded song may be gradually reduced to silence at its end, fade out, or may gradually increase from silence at the beginning, fade in. Fading out can serve as a recording solution for pieces of music that contain no obvious ending. Fade effect, fade out. Fade effect has a very wide range of applications in the field of multimedia, including the production of music, pictures, movies, MTV, videos and so on. The fade in means that from scratch, from less to more. Fade out is the opposite of the fade in. What is fade in, fade out in music effects? In the field of music, fade effect will be adopted at the beginning or end of the songs. Fade in effect is that the sound at the beginning is silent, then the sound slowly increases in a linear manner. Fade effect is that the end of the music. How to fade in or fade out? Almost all audio conversations or editing software will provide fade in, fade out effect function. Briefly introduce following several steps. 
importing files you want to edit. Open the editor software and then import the file you want to edit. Adding fade in effect. First, switch to editor tab and double click the file you wish to edit. Then, apply fade in to gradually increase the sound volume at the beginning of an audio track. Select the area where you want to apply fade in. Left click within the waveform display and drag the cursor to highlight the first seconds of the audio track. The selected area will be highlighted. Press the fade in button on the editor tab to apply fade in to the selected area. Then you may be need to adjust the values of other channel audio until you are satisfied. Adding fade out effects. Normally, apply fade out to gradually decrease the sound volume towards the end of an audio track. Select the area where you want to apply fade out. Left click within the waveform display and drag the cursor to highlight the last seconds of the audio track. Press the fade out button on the editor tab to apply fade out to the selected area. Then you may be need to adjust the values of other channel audio until you are satisfied. How to create fade effects in your PPTs? Open your presentation and navigate to the required slide where you have to insert an audio clip. Just select or double click the audio clip to bring up to the two contextual audio tools tabs in the ribbon. These two tabs are format and playback. Click the playback tab to activate it as shown. Now within the audio tools playback tab, you will find the fade duration options as shown highlighted in red within. Motion blur. The apparent streaking of rapidly moving objects in a still image or a sequence of images such as a movie or animation. It results when the image being recorded. Changes during the recording of a single frame, either due to rapid movement or long exposure. Applications of motion blur. Photography, animation, computer graphics and biology. Applications of motion blur. Photography. When a camera creates an image, that image does not represent a single instant of time. Because of technological constraints or artistic requirements, the image may represent the scene over a period of time. As objects in a scene move, an image of that scene must represent an integration of all positions of those objects, as well as the camera's viewpoint over the period of exposure determined by the shutter speed. In such an image, any object moving with respect to the camera will look blur or smeared along the direction of relative motion. Animation In computer animation, this effect must be simulated as a virtual camera actually does capture a discrete moment in time. This simulated motion blur is typically applied when either the camera or objects in the scene move rapidly. Without this simulated effect, each frame shows a perfect instant time with zero motion blur. Animation This is why a video game with a frame rate of 25 to 30 frames per second will seem staggered, while natural motion filmed at the same frame rate appears rather more continuous. Many modern video games feature motion blur, especially vehicle simulation games. Examples, Need for Speed, Unreal Tournament 3, The Legend of Zelda, etc. Computer Graphics In 2D computer graphics, motion blur is an artistic filter that converts the digital image or bitmap or raster image in order to simulate the effect. Many graphical software products such as Adobe Photoshop or GIMP offer simple motion blur filters. However, for advanced motion blur filtering including curves or non-uniform speed adjustment, specialized software products are necessary. Biology When an animal's eye is in motion, the image will suffer from motion blur, resulting in an inability to resolve details. To cope with this, humans generally alternate between saccades quick eye movements and fixation, focusing on a single point. Saccadic masking makes motion blur during a saccade invisible. Similarly, smooth pursuit allows the eye to track a target in rapid motion, eliminating motion blur of that target instead of the scene. 
negative effects of motion blur in televised sports where conventional cameras expose pictures 25 or 30 times per second motion blur can be inconvenient because it obscures the exact position of a projectile or athlete in slow motion negative effects of motion blur for this reason special cameras are often used which eliminate motion blurring by taking rapid exposures on the order of one by thousand of a second and then transmitting them over the course of the next one by twenty five or one by thirty of a second although this gives sharper slow motion replays it can look strange at normal speed because the eye expects to see motion blurring and is not provided with blood images. Blur type Linear is a blur that travels in a single direction, horizontally, for example. In this case, length means a radius in other filters. It represents the blur intensity. More length will result in more blurring. Angle describes the actual angle of the movement. Thus, a setting of 90 will produce a vertical blur and a setting of 0 will produce a horizontal blur. Radial motion blur that creates a circular blur. The length slider is not important with this type of blur. Angle on the other hand is the primary setting that will affect the blur. More angle will result in more blurring in a circular direction. The radial motion blur is similar to the effect of a spinning object. The center of the spin in this case is the center of the image. Zoom produces a blur that radiates out from the center of the image. The center of the image remains relatively calm, whilst the outer areas become blurred toward the center. This filter option produces a perceived forward movement into the image. Length is the main setting here and affects the amount of speed, as it were, toward the center of the image. Blood parameters length. This slider controls the distance pixels are moved 1 to 256. Angle angle slider effect depends on blood type 0 to 360. Blood center with this option, you can set the starting point of movement. Effect is different according to the blood type you have selected. With radial type, for instance, you set rotation center with zoom type vanishing point. This option is grayed out with linear type.